Hi there, I'm Myra Patron with Realty One Group and your Modern Day Agents team, bringing you your weekly video tip with my sweet baby girl, Adalia. Do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> Uh, today we wanted to talk about the buyer's inspection notice and seller's response form, also known as the Binzer for short. So in the month of February, several forms have been rolled out uh, and changes have been made to some of the forms that we use and one of them has been the residential purchase contract. Uh, as, but as well as the buyer's inspection notice and seller's response form. Before, you used to be able to list seller not or non-working seller warranted items, but there was a very gray area as to what were considered non-working warranted items. So in order to eliminate that confusion, the Arizona Association of Realtors decided to just eliminate that altogether. So basically, you're buying the house as is, but all repairs are negotiable. So there's no non-working warranted items to list. It's all just a list that you would list of requested repairs that you, you may want the seller to fix. And then that's it. It's just very simple. So once you submit that form to the seller, the seller has five days to respond to you and they may say, yes, we accept your requested repairs, or they may say no altogether, or they may say, yeah, we, we will repair some, but not all. At that point, you will have five days to respond to that seller and say, yes, I accept your response, or no, I'm canceling, I do not accept your response. So at that point, you would move forward or you would cancel the contract. So I hope that explains that form, the buyer's inspection notice and seller's response form also known as the Binzer. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me via Facebook, uh, message us here on YouTube, and also reach us at our website at yourmoderndayagents.com. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.